briefly, could you tell us how you hmm. got onto drugs and then how you managed to come off it and how many years you were on hard drugs? I see you've incorporated the word briefly now into the question, as you've already noticed my propensity for verbosity. I became a drug addict, I think, because of emotional difficulties, psychological difficulties, and perhaps a spiritual malady. Now, you Was that brief enough? Very brief, thank you. Um, you were arrested roughly 12 times. It was rough, yes. <laughs> Chip Brandish runs the treatment centre where I got clean. So yes, we're coming on to him in a minute, Mr Brown. He's already the puppeteer behind each and every articulation. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Brown. As the great Tupac Shakur said, <clears throat> role is something people play, model is something that people make. Both of those things are fake. What I want to offer people is truth and authenticity in the treatment of this illness, in the, our regard to the criminal components of it, in assisting victims, and in the way we legislate and organise our society. A, got a sort of positive... Sorry, oh, I was right in the middle of my answer then. Still a good speech, it's just got some <laughs> ladies going by. <laughs> The public is fine. Yes, Mr okay. Summers. Yeah, I've completely forgotten where I was. Because you were flirting with empty. If we're going to spend more money on treatment, if we're going to spend more money on education, money has to be taken from somewhere. I and mean, one possible suggestion is that we uh, spend less money on doing the, the, the policing of possession, for example. Yeah. Is that something which you would support, or would you see things in a different way? I've forgotten the question. Like, do you think instead of nicking people for possession, oh, yeah. I should just stick it into treatment and, and uh, education? Thank you for that translation, <laughs> Mr. Bryant. Uh, does one also have to have some compassion and consideration for the victims of crime where those crimes are committed by people under the influence of drugs? You can tell what party they're in from their questions, innit? <laughs> <laughs> what about the victims of the crime? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think all parties are interested in victims of crime. Of course we are, that's what we're saying. We're not saying that's the big Ignore victims. I think we're running out of time. I have a final question about... Time is infinite. Uh, unfortunately, we have... We, <laughs> we cannot run is. out of time. It is. But for this committee... I'm Who's next? Theresa May. She may not show up. <laughs> Check she knows what um, day it is. I think what there needs to be is love and compassion to everybody involved. You need to, if people are committing criminal behaviour, then it needs to be dealt with legally, but you need to offer them treatment, not simply out of some airy fairy that's all old hands and hug liberalism, no. but because it deals with the problem and it prevents further crimes being committed. Addicts that get clean at one day at a time through abstinence-based recovery, generally speaking, stop committing crimes. That's better for victims, it's better for the addict, it's better for society. Ellis? The, uh, the role that celebrities play in society is uh, not insignificant. And I want to ask you whether... I'd argue that it is insignificant, and well, that's why they play that role. Perhaps it, sh perhaps it should be more than it is. But what I want to know from you, Mr Brand, is whether you think that having um, got out of the cycle of addiction... Yes. And I congratulate you for, for that. Thank you. Whether you um, would like to position yourself as a role model in society for um, those who might look to you... Uh, as an example. As the great Tupac Shakur said, <clears throat> role is something people play, model is something that people make. Both of those things are fake. What I want to offer people is truth and authenticity in the treatment of this illness, in the, our regard to the criminal components of it, in assisting victims and in the way we legislate and organise our society. I, I can't be responsible, as you know, you know, you look at whole committees all the time about the reprehensible be behaviour of our media. What the cipher of my image is used to represent in the media, I have no control over. You do, you do because you, your behaviour is some aspect of what's portrayed about you, isn't it? Well, yes, of course, but, uh, you know, however, how's this going to be written up? This could be written up as Michael Ellis, he's, he's sprawled on a pin there by the wit of Brand, or they could say, say the recalcitrant former drug addict rambled on. You know, if you read it in the Telegraph, it's going to say one thing. If you, if you read it in the Socialist Worker, it's going to say another thing. A combination. <laughs> of course, the, <laughs> the objective behaviour has got components, but I'm saying that what I want to offer people is truth and authenticity, and I think celebrity, as we all know, is a vapid, vacuous, toxic concept used to distract people people from what's actually important and in this case that's treatment of people with a disease of addiction.